couple of paces and I got another hammered. Just got this. It's got hall marks on it. I thought when I got the signal it was going to be one of those flipping cow tubes. Hi guys, got an invite out today. It's a stubble field but it's quite light stubble so it easily pushes out of the way. Um, been done a couple of weeks ago. Uh, the guy found a couple of hammer coins on here so hopefully there'll be some more in here. There's a lot of Roman activity as well so hopefully we'll find some Roman coins. That'd be great. There's a medieval church nearby as well which is always good. I did go out a couple of weeks ago, done a video, was out with um, Matt from Berserker Metal Detecting UK. Uh, I've seen his video, it's really good. <laughs> I did a video myself, unfortunately I lost the footage. Uh, so I'll try and put those clips on there. Well, not clips, but I'll show you the finds I found. I had loads of Romans. He had some nice Romans as well, but I'll put them, uh, show them at the end of the video. I got an invite with, out with him yesterday to one of his fields. I had a nice silver whistle as well, so I'll show you that at the end of the video as well. Anyway, I've only got a few hours out today, three or four hours, so I'm going to crack on. First target of the day. A bit of lead. It looks like a pot mend. It's always a good sign. Uh, could be Roman. Hopefully it is. That means we should hopefully get some Roman coins. But we'll see. Okay, looks like we've got a little bit of a hot spot here. The uh, one of the other chaps who's out with me, um, he's just had a hammered, a Roman, and a brooch all in uh, like a small area. I'm not too far from him. I've got this. I've got my hopes up. I thought it was a hammered at first, but it's not. It's just a uh, a threepence, little Vicky threepence, but still, it's silver. So looking pretty good. So chap over there. He's just digging a hammered now. Oh, well, he's just dug a hammered. And I've just got this one here. A little bit bent on the edge. Not sure who that is at the moment. Uh, it's, uh, it's a hammered. That'll do. Hopefully there's some more. Right, well, a couple of paces and I got another hammered. And that, oh, that's a, that's a long cross, so that's a different, I think, oh, is it? Yeah. Long cross voided. Is that Henry III? I won't be able to tell at the moment, but... Wow, that is, uh, let's try and focus in on that. That's great. Crikey, so uh, should be some more here. It's going to be hopefully this is going to be a really really good day. Just having a real thorough look in the uh, area where I just had these two hammers. I got this. It's not a hammered, but that there is a piece of a Roman brooch. A pin just clips underneath there. Nice bit of history. Another unusual little piece. Not sure what that was on. It's broken off whatever it was right there. It's full of mud. I think I've really got the means to pick it out here, but another one to try and get identified. It's got a weight of some description. Made of lead. No idea how old that is. Could even be like a um, rabbit net weight. Another weight. Pretty similar to the uh, last one that I found. I reckon I got another pot mend here. This one looks. Um, yeah, easily ish identifiable. I found any Roman coins. 
Um, I think the chap I'm with, he's got, he's got one, but he had a nice brooch as well. Oh, a bit of a brooch, but yeah, I, I was expecting to find more Roman today than uh, have medieval. But yeah, I'm not going to complain. Two, uh, two silver hammered so far. Um, probably got about another hour and a half. Hopefully, I'll find some more. It's definitely uh, proving to be a good, good day. It's got a farthing. Uh, it's pretty worn. I can just about make out uh, Victoria's silhouette on there. Uh, yeah, it's pretty shoddy condition. Might clean up if it's. We it might might get something off it, but well, we'll have a look when I get home. Probably not. Another coin. This one's a bit uh, toasted. A half penny of somebody I don't know, um, Victoria, George, maybe not Victorian, probably Georgian. Don't think I'll get any detail off that. It's well past it. Got another one of these lead weights. That's three I found today now. Well, it went quiet for about 20 minutes. Well, I think I'm back on the hammer again. Henry the Third, that'll be, I think. That's good. Nice. That's hammer number three. Brilliant. Looks like a decorative item. I don't know what it was from. No idea. Just got this. It's got hall marks on it. I thought when I got the signal it was going to be one of those flipping cow tubes. Uh, when I uh, pulled it up, I was pleasantly surprised by that. A lot of hall marks on there. There we go. Just found a uh, little three pence. One of the later brass ones, which is, I think, 13 sided or something like that. Who's that? That's uh, Georgia 6. Probably going to be my last find of the day. It's, uh, yeah. Starting to get a bit dusky now. Okay, quick rundown of my finds from the other day. Um, but before I do that, I just wanted to show you the finds that I had when I was out with Matt from Berserker Metal Detecting UK. So I had these Romans, um, which is pretty good. I mean, this one here, look at that. If I can just get that in focus. That is a, that's a cracker. So this was off my permission where I had the gold posy ring. I did do a video that day and, and um, sadly I lost all the footage and the footage of the dig after that. Where So I went back out with Matt again on one of his permissions. Um, and yeah, I had a few bits there, but again, I lost all that footage, just gutted. But anyway, so these were bits I found. So I had, of my permission, I had these 10 Romans. I also had this silver brooch. It's got the hallmarks in there. Not sure how old it is. Probably Victorian, maybe. And then when I went out with him on his permission, I got this. I didn't really find a great deal coin-wise. I had half a dozen coins. They were just your, your Victorian or, or sort of, you know, George V half pennies and that but I had this and I didn't think much of it at first but it's uh, it's actually a little silver whistle it's got the lion passant on there it was completely full of mud I've cleaned it out now so I'm going to give that a go in a minute and see if it actually works um, 
anyway yeah my finds from the other day so usual bits you know weights a few other coins I had this piece of silver which has got hallmarks on it somewhere and this was what is it now um oh god walter and john barnard and then that is 1883 i looked at it so that's the h in there a little date letter so it's london they did all kinds of silverware so could have been from anything but luckily i got the bit with the hallmark four silver coins little vicky three pence pretty worn but silver now the three hammers so that one i think oh, do you know i really don't know who that is i thought edward at first but probably is edward but i don't know not very good at IDing these hammered sometimes so that one there and these two these i mean I, i'm pretty sure these are henry the third so 13th century around about, i think he died in 1276 1272 or something like that anyway so yeah that one's completely bent round but there, there might be a good portrait inside there you never know and then obviously this one which was a half cut so pretty good on the whole um i'd love to go back on that field that one wasn't my permission i was that was an invite from uh, a friend of mine so he's good like that let's give this whistle a go i'm not going to blow it in the car i'm probably going to get some real strange looks now because there's a few dog walkers about i didn't want to do this outside my house uh, see how uh, much how loud it is Here it goes. That ain't bad. Yeah, that's uh, that's pretty good, considering how probably long it's spent in the ground. Anyway, till the next time.